In earlier video, we have discussed about various types of hydrogen and green hydrogen production technologies. In this video we will explain about white hydrogen. White hydrogen, also referred to as natural, gold or geologic hydrogen is naturally produced or present in the Earth's crust. Natural hydrogen is a newly discovered geological source of sustainable and non-fossil energy. It is generated by a natural geochemical process deep inside the Earth crust, making it a sustainable and inexhaustible source. This type of hydrogen is not created by humans, but is found in its natural form, as a free gas, either in layers of the continental crust, deep in the oceanic crust, in volcanic gases, in geysers or in hydrothermal systems. Hydrogen seems to be present in a wide range of rock formations and geological regions. The natural processes of hydrogen creation are not yet fully understood. Some hypotheses include degassing of hydrogen directly from the Earth's core, reaction of water with ultra-basic rocks that is known as serpentinization or reducing agents in the mantle, natural radiolysis that is dissociation of water by uranium or plutonium, and decomposition of organic matter. Serpentinization is a natural alteration process of rocks, containing a high concentration of iron and magnesium, by water. This alteration, combined with the oxidation of the metals present in the rocks, produces a hydrogen-rich gas and a very alkaline water, pH up to 12.5. Its value chain is similar to natural gas production. It includes prospection, selection of sites, drilling, extraction and separation of products. It is important to note that environmental protection is a top priority for the implementation of the solution, which is why natural hydrogen does not require using controversial techniques like hydraulic fracturing. Some of the advantages of white or natural hydrogen are, extraction and use of every kilogram of natural hydrogen prevents emissions of 7.7 .7 kilograms of carbon dioxide. Natural hydrogen is expected to be cheaper than the current cheapest hydrogen, which is around $2 per kilogram, produced by the process called steam methane reforming. 99% reduction of carbon emissions resulting from manufacturing hydrogen. 100% reduction of particle and NOx emissions resulting from use of fossil fuels. The challenge for these businesses and for scientists will be translating hypothetical promise into a commercial reality. White hydrogen could cost around $1 a kilogram to produce, compared to around $6 a kilogram for green hydrogen. But white hydrogen could quickly become more expensive if large deposits require deeper drilling. Another factor, hindering natural hydrogen discovery, is the fact that most wells around the world have been drilled in sedimentary layers, where oil and other fossil energy sources are found. However, these rocks are not the most likely places for hydrogen to be abundant. Lastly, hydrogen being the lightest element on Earth, it diffuses rapidly in air and other environments and cannot be retained in geological traps for long periods of time. Natural hydrogen, with its continuous production and short retention period, should thus be considered as a flux rather than a stock. Today, 95% of man-made hydrogen comes from steam reforming, a technique with a great efficiency, but a disastrous carbon footprint. On the other hand, electrolysis creates hydrogen from renewable energies, but loses about two-thirds of the energy input in the production process. Natural hydrogen is now being seen as a promising carbon-free and abundant energy source that requires minimal infrastructures for its exploitation, far from the requirements of oil wells. Due to the lack of dedicated research thus far, it is hard to evaluate the white hydrogen resources in the world. A hydrogen future in white and green could help us transition to carbon-free energies, for the better of the Earth and mankind. Thanks for watching.